in this Malaysia vlog we'll be exploring the Kuantan food scene in East Coast Malaysia. We'll try some of our favourite Malaysian food like curry mee and chendol, as well as check out a local night market. One Kuantan local specialty we've found was fish and fermented durian sauce. Did we like it? Keep watching to find out. We've been loving the night markets in Malaysia and we're at a night market in Quantan and we found some sushi. So there seems to be a lot of different Asian food in the Malaysian night markets and oh, I haven't had sushi in ages so I'm looking forward to trying some. These were 120 ringgit a piece and they look delicious. So good. This is a mixed chicken and beef curry puff, and it looks huge. It's very ringed and it's nice and warm. That's got a really beautiful curry flavour, and it's got some vegetables in there as well as the mixed meat. I've got some popia here. So, popia is like a pancake in a way, a very light, thin bread. Uh, and it's rolled up, so we have a lot of different vegetable ingredients in here and I'm really dying for some vegetables right now. I've had a lot of noodles, a lot of meat, not too many vegetables, so this will be really nice. And so it was made right in front of us. There's also some, I think it's some peanuts drizzled over it and I think this might, might be a peanut sauce. Oof. Okay, it's a bit of a sweet sauce but it's got a bit of heat to it. Not surprising. So anyway, this looks really, really lovely. So there's cabbage, there's carrot, shallots as well, green onions. It's a really nice, healthy street food. To finish off our Malaysian street food, we're having some fruit. So we got this big cup of fruit, five ring it. You could have it with sauce or with sugar or sweet things as well, but we've decided to have a plain. We could choose from a lot of different fruit, including pineapple, guava, papaya, watermelon. So yeah, this is a great healthy way to end our meal. Durian is one of the more fascinating foods we've tried in Malaysia. We weren't big fans of the taste, but this next dish completely shocked us. In talking to some really friendly locals, we got the local tip that the must-eat dish in Pahang, Malaysia is Pahi Patin. So, or Pais Patin, I'm not quite sure. So what it is, is fish that's been cooked in durian. So this is gonna be really interesting to try. And we got to the restaurant just as it was closing, so we are able to get takeaway. The restaurant was called Ratu Patin, and it's right next to the uh, Quantan Mall, in case you want to try it out for yourself. So let's open this up. The first thing I noticed when I opened it up was this big rush of durian smell. It's very pungent and smells a bit rotten, sort of like off cheese. How would you describe the durian smell? Let us know in the comments. It tasted very spicy with lots of chilli. It also had a fruity flavour to it and you could definitely taste the creamy sweetness of the durian. Wow. Oh, that sauce is beautiful. It's like a mango sauce in a way. And this fish is so beautiful as well. We're just so lucky that we stumbled across this dish. This is just amazing. Make sure you try it out when you're in Quantum. Hungry Boy's Kitchen is a beautiful restaurant in Quantum, Malaysia. And we've got some really nice looking dishes here. So we've got a curry meat laksa and then we've got a curry chicken nazi lemak. So both of those were 12 ringgit and they look amazing. The laksa in particular is huge. It's got so much on it. It's got some wontons, egg, it's got tofu, it's got oh, all sorts of different things here. Fish balls, amazing. Oh yeah, that is so nice. The ingredients are really fresh, really nicely cooked, very tasty. Mm. Oh yeah, 
that laksu sauce. I haven't had laksu for maybe a bit over a week and I'm starting to get it withdrawal. So I'm really happy to have this laksu. It is beautiful and I think one of the best ones we've had in Malaysia so far. So this is really nice. I'm looking forward to finishing that off. But let's try this curry chicken. Nazi Lamak. So Nazi Lamak's the national dish of Malaysia. It comes with the coconut rice, it usually comes with a sambal, with anchovies, cucumber, and then some protein usually. Mm. I really love the coconut rice, it's a really nice flavour. The anchovies, mm. nice little crunch. Nice little bit of saltiness. The chicken with that curry, beautifully cooked. Both of these are so good. And for 12 ringgit each, I think it's really good value. on a hot day there's nothing better than an icy dessert so this is an ABC which stands for I think it's I Batu Champu which means something like water ice mixed so it's a flavored ice it's got various toppings in it it's topped with corn as well and this looks really delicious quite a hefty serving we got it in a street corner in Quantum for six ringgit. Ooh, yeah, so the flavoring's really nice. Well, I got a bit of corn to begin with, but so that's nice and got a bit of a burst of flavor. I can taste the roast flavoring, the sweetened condensed milk in here, lots of different stuff. And I think, I feel like you've probably got to go digging to get all of it. I've got like a big chunk of ice that's right at the top. This is so good. It really cools you down. Very refreshing. Highly recommended. Malaysian people have just been so lovely towards us. We've got a bonus chen doll. So the street vendor gave us a free chen doll, which is awesome. So, so here it is. Chen doll is a very popular dessert in Malaysia. It's ice, it's sweet condensed milk, it's brown sugar, and there's also these signature green, I think, green jelly things in here as well. It's a very unique taste, very Malaysian, very refreshing. We hope you enjoyed our Quantan food tour. If you did, hit that like button and let us know what you thought by leaving a comment. In our next video, we'll be having a beach vacation along the Malaysia East Coast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to stay tuned.